Welcome to the races. We're at the gate. The gate's open. The Scipio Cav is uh, falling behind. The purple team's in the lead. The blue team catching up. Scipio Cav is going past the first purple player. He's catching up to the blue player. The red team, where the fuck did they come from? Who the hell knows? The Roman infantry is in the lead, but it's only a matter of time until the Scipio Cav catches up. It's any horses or man's game in this race. And down the stretch they come, it looks like they're racing on different race courses. They're all separated, they're all going their different ways. What kind of fucking race is this? <laughs> Alright guys, that's enough messing around. Now let's get to the subject at hand for this video. And that is how to best cultivate your land so you can grow oranges. <laughs> that way, you have plenty of oranges to feed your Scipio calf, which is the real subject we're going to be discussing today. And I'm just going to be honest, I'm not the greatest calf player, I'm kind of shit at it. And that's why I love Scipio, if you're new to calf, you're just getting into the game, I recommend this commander, he's very forgiving. He has a good charge, the unit always stays together, they don't spread out all over the fucking place or have to go into any form of uh, wedge or anything like that. It's very basic. And even if you do miss your charge ability, you can use that war cry to route people rather quickly. To top it off, if you completely fuck up and you find yourself in a really bad position, you have your oh shit button in oath. It gives your curve a bit of survivability and basically they won't route unless you get feared and just surrounded, you pretty much don't route, okay? That's not to say Scipio Cav doesn't have its downsides, they're pretty damn slow in the forest areas, and they're, they're just not very fast. Also, they don't have the best charge in the game. It is one of the best, but not the best. For example, if you try to charge the same tiered Alexander Cav, you're probably in for a bad time, you probably won't enjoy that shit too much. Not only that, it's very hard for you to react to other Cav charging you. You can't exactly uh, chase after them when they smash you in the face and run away. You're basically a bit of a slow cunt. Which leads some people to think that Scipio Cav is weak because it is very hard to deal with the other Cav on the battlefield. But there is an upside, guys. Okay. Say you find some archers on the battlefield, just stare by themselves, you go in, you start wrecking their face, and then you see this cub coming to charge you right up the arse. You know what you can do? You can pop that oath ability, which does give you charge deflect, and then not only will that cub hit you for bugger all, you can turn around and melee the shit out of them. Scipio is one of the greatest melee cub commanders, if not the greatest. Now you may be thinking, well, can't you just pop Oath when the Cav is lining up a charge with you in the open? Well, no you can't. You have to be in combat before you can pop that ability, which is the main weakness of it, in my opinion, and the slow as well. But you're already slow. It's all about getting slow, getting slower. I'm just going to keep saying slow. You may have figured out Scipio's weakness, and that is that he's slow. <laughs> Which isn't too bad. At the moment, I only have T7 uh, Roman Cav. It's not too much of a problem. One thing that does scare the shit out of me, though, it scares me to no end, is that at tier 9 and 10, you won't believe this, guys. You won't fucking believe this. You get slower. I mean, shit. I wouldn't be surprised if you level all that way, you get to them high tiers, and you think you're fucking good. You're on your horse, galloping down the street, you look beside you, and Millie's there just fucking jogging. Hey mate, what's, what are you up to mate, you bit of a, uh, bit of a fucking, uh, bit of a slow cunt, and he just runs past you. You pull out your riding crop, you start hitting the horse, next minute Arminius is fucking running backwards and still beating you. That's when you know you have a bit of a problem, maybe you're too fat for your horse, it's all weighed down. It can't even get into a gallop. But we can always hope it's not like that. Maybe I'm totally wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was, yeah, the biggest rant, and then I'm like, oh, I haven't tested it. But oh, I have a feeling. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling.
got a bit of an inkling this is going to be slightly annoying because at the moment I do think they're at a good speed any slower and you might just have to play them differently or they could be a pile of shit and I've got to say that might be one of the factors that led up to Millie getting nerfed is because Scipio Cav was getting outrun by Millie and maybe it's not the Greek's fault instead it could be Scipio shouldn't tie so much fucking armor to a horse it slows it down all in all I still think it's a good unit I'd probably have fun up with it up to tier 8 I'm not sure about the tier 9 or tier 10 ones, only time will tell if they are any good. But maybe that's the time where you do change to Sola and use that whip ability. Who knows? But that brings us to the end of this video, there's not much time to go. So let's go out with the Lana and Woodley theme song. And I'll see you next time. I got the feeling, got a bit of an inkling. This is gonna be one of those days This is a show about me Not him, mate And all the things I do and all the things I see And also what I see I get the feeling Got a bit of an inkling As long as we're together, it'll be okay